you rent a hypermarket where it has multiple floors and all these floor has multiple items and each of the floor will be dealing with different items and the items will uh, manage from multiple warehouses depending upon the product category so let's consider a scenario that is the first floor of your shop deals with perishable items where the products are managed from one warehouse and second floor is deals uh, with furniture where the items is managed by another warehouse so let's see how can we manage warehouses for multiple floors in odo 16 pois for that let's get into the pois module so in the pois module you can consider one shop and it will have different floors so we have created different floors over here we cannot deal with the um, i mean we cannot manage multiple warehouses for multiple floors with pois but this can be solved through creating different shop but we can consider that different shop as different floor in odoo 16 pois so here you can see that i have created multiple floor and this floor will be having multiple warehouses so in order to create a warehouse you can just move on to the inventory module and under the configuration settings uh, or i mean configuration menu you can see warehouses and we have created multiple warehouses for each of the flow so here flow one will be dealing with the floor uh, warehouse will be dealing for the floor one and flow two warehouse will be dealing for the floor two and afterwards you can just move on to the pos and let's see how can we manage with each of the flow so uh, you can just move on to the configuration settings and in the configuration settings we have a field called point of sale so in this point of sale if you're dealing with a uh, first floor which means if a customer needs to buy a particular item such as the perishable items or the food items that might be dealing from the first floor so you can set the point of sale as first floor and you can restrict the categories which means uh, the uh, the users or the customers only get a particular food category from this floor so you can restrict this uh, category with food items so that once you open to the pois or get into the pois you can see uh, only the food items can be managed from the first floor and here you also ne uh, need to deal with the warehouses so under the operation type you can set the operation type as floor one pois order which is used to record the product picking and products are consumed from this default source location and you can save the settings and let's see how we can manage the items from the first floor so you can just move on to the dashboard and choose the first floor and you can open the session and here you can see uh, the perishable items or the food items and you can pick the items as per your requirement with the quantities that you want and finally you can choose a customer and validate the process by choosing the payment method and if you want to print the invoice you can choose the invoice and finally validate the process so once you validate the process you can see the change uh, from the point of sale orders so you can close the session and when you just move on to the orders you can see uh, currently we have managed the items from the floor one and you would be able to see the invoice that has generated and all the details will be here and under the other info uh, also you can see uh, the details and you can see the custom reference uh, over here with the shop first floor and let's back to the shop 2 and that is floor 2 and let's see how can we manage uh, the furniture from another floor of the shop so you can just go to the configuration settings and here if you want to deal with the furnitures uh, you need to change the flow so you can change the point of sale here as flow two, and here you need to change the uh, yeah as you choose the flow two, uh, the inventory operation will be automatically changing from um, flow to point of sale because we have already configured this so the products that are consumed from this uh, default source location will be uh, stored under this point of sale so you can save the settings and you can just move on to the orders and open the session that is flow 2 and finally you can purchase the items that you want so i only need capnet with doors and you can just uh, choose the payment method and choose a customer 
and finally validate the process and just close the session okay let's close the session by setting the post i mean um, by posting the journal entries and under the orders also you can see the order so the furnitures are managed with the floor two of the shop so it is very easy to manage the multiple warehouses for multiple floor with pos this also gives a clear understanding of the warehouse movement which means how the product is managed in warehouse so in order to view that you can just move on to the inventory module and under the inventory uh, operations i mean uh, here we have an option called transfers and when you just drag down here you would be able to see how the products are managed uh, from each of the warehouse so you can see how the product is moved and to which locations uh, with uh, the POIs reference number also. Every details will be shown here. And if you want to get a particular location, uh, you can just get it from the location. Uh, I mean, locations. So here, uh, I mean, you can see that uh, as we have created different floor, that is F1, flow 1 and flow 2. The stocks will be managed from this particular uh, floors. And you can also get the report of these floors. So you can just move on to the reporting locations. And when you just drag down here, you can see uh, the product that is managed in each flow. So these are the products that is managed in first floor. And uh, you can see the uh, products that is managed in the second floor, which is uh, shown here. So hope this concept is worth for you. And thank you for watching the video. As always, stay awesome.